type, so I'm gonna just go out there and say it. Right before this incident happened, I just ran into Sauce Walker. He asked me for my number, we exchanged numbers. I said, yo, what are you about to get into? He said, I'm going upstairs to do the BT Cypher. It means you're gonna do some freestyle stuff for BT or whatever and whatnot. Dapped him up, I left. I walked towards the spot where the incident occurred. An altercation happened between two dudes. One lost his life. It was broad daylight. And again, I had just left from seeing Sauce Walker two blocks away in the opposite direction. Later that night when he asked me for the video, I assumed it was because he didn't want to go through like the screen recording to have to share it with someone, a friend or something, maybe show his boys. I thought he just wanted it for the sole purpose of that, just to view it or something. I did not have any idea that he was going to take that video and start a whole campaign to make people believe that he is some sort of gangster or killer, that someone lost their life for trying to take his jewelry. That's not what happened. That is definitely not the case at all. This guy was not a bad person, first of all. From what I heard from the family, he attended college, he was a business owner, and he was, he was a ladies' man. And allegedly, that's what went down, is that an angry pimp got pissed off and took this man's life. And that's who actually took his life. It had nothing to do with anything about stealing jewelry from anybody or trying to steal jewelry. In fact, before the police covered his body, this man had his own jewelry on, his own gold jewelry, his own watch and the whole nine and everything like that. So I already knew it was capped from the jump. I tried to tell you guys, it's been a long time since I exposed somebody. I've been really quiet and staying out the way, but Kid Boo is not gonna sit around and do that no more. If I expose people now, it's gonna be for something like this. And Sauce so Walker, I know you're probably gonna be pissed, mad at me for using my platform and my voice to help air out your fake news, but it is what it is, man. I, it's not bad, bro. I can't respect the integrity of a man's character for doing something like that. It's just wrong, bro. You wrote yourself your own death note with this type of stuff because don't you think that for one second, the man that lost his life, didn't you consider the fact that he has family and he has friends that's gonna want revenge? I don't know what possessed you to do that. Clout and fame is not worth that much. And to a lot of y'all other rappers that's talking all this same stuff about drilling this and killing that, stop the cap, stop the rap cap, stop trying to influence these kids to pick up guns and really take each other's lives. And it's more than just like us black people killing each other. It's just people in general in the culture that listen to hip hop. This gotta stop. 